Hey everyone, Sarah here. Welcome to Sarah's Cooking. Today is Good Friday and for uh, my family, Good Friday is a day where we eat hot cross buns. Now here in um, Sandy or Salt Lake area, it's not that easy to find hot cross buns. So I am going to make some hot cross buns. Now the recipe is from the Edmunds cookbook, which is a New Zealand cookbook. I will put all of the instructions up on this post so you can give it a go as well. Now, while typically hot cross buns are for Easter, you can eat them and enjoy them any time of the year because they are absolutely lovely. So let's get started. I will show you what I have for the ingredients. I like to get everything prepared before I start into little containers and bowls and what have you so there's no issues once I get started that I didn't get anything out, which has happened. So anyhow, here is all the ingredients and then I will get started. Okay, so this is the recipe here, hot cross buns. and. Over here is all of the ingredients. I've got the currants and the sultanas and the peel in one bowl. I have my egg, I have my spices in one bowl, my butter. I have two bowls of sugar because one is to go in one part and one is the other part, and my yeast. And of course, of course, my flour and my milk is there. So let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is to heat up the milk and the first amount of sugar. So I have this bottle for that. This is my milk. And this is the first amount of sugar that goes in it, which is one teaspoon. I heat that up to lukewarm. And then once that is got to temperature, I uh, add the yeast and let it froth up. After that is finished in the microwave, I will be cleaning the butter and the sugar. And now I'm going to mix it with my hands. Now, when you're doing it with your hands, always I like to always take off rings with um, any jewelry, any diamonds, any stones in them. Other than that, as long as you've got clean hands, which you definitely should, get going. I'm going to stay, start with it in the bowl because it's just too crumbly at the moment. So I'm just going to come and get it combined a bit better. Now I'll take it out and do it on the bench. So we need stuff that's blown out. Just get it on in here and then you need it. About 10 minutes. So now that we have kneaded it for 10 minutes, it's ready to rest. So we use a bowl. I'm using the same bowl that I mixed it in, but I cleaned it. And you are. Uh, 
that's out. Coat it in oil so it doesn't stick. Perfect. You can use any oil as long as it's got no flavour. What I just used there was a canola cooking spray, which is a one from Costco. Okay, so that is oiled. Now you put it in here, and you need to put it somewhere warm, and you leave it until it doubles the oil. So it has doubled in size, roughly. Now we need to divide it up and put it in the traps for cooking. So the first thing I do is punch down the middle and then I get it out. Oh, actually, I can leave it in. It says to do quarter a cup per podcast bun. So I'll roughly measure out the first one to give me an idea of how much I'm doing. So that's about that much. Roll them out and then I'll bring them in these bottles here. Spray them with oil. And you're putting them in there. And then once they're in there, they double in size. Double check the size. And put that back. Time to pipe on the crosses, or whatever shape you want to do. A little bit runny. Okay, so I've just taken them out of the oven. They look pretty good. Now I need to glaze them. So let's get on to doing the glazing. Okay. 